Yo, what up, what up, what up? Oh, it, man. It's the Less and Flow Sports Show. I like this. Finally. I really like this. How many years are we trying to do this? Uh, been forever, man. Been forever. I know, but it was, like, it was like a sport. It was like we just talk about everything, you know. It's like back in the Hawaii days, like, right? Yeah, we try to do all kinds of stuff. But finally, we got something that works. The first official Let's and Flow Sports Show. Let's go. This just awesome. sports without the politics. We just want to talk sports. We just want to have fun with it. Get some, just talk some sports, sports without the politics. <laughs> yeah. You know, people, you know, you know how it is. People just want to talk sports. They want to see sports. They don't want to hear all that politics sometimes. They just want to have fun, talk sports. That's what yeah. this show's about, right? Yeah, because everybody seems to have some kind of political uh, standpoint, even in sports, too. So sometimes I get annoyed, but, you know, it is what it is at this point, you know. But um, right. we're just trying to have fun here. We're trying to stock sports, have fun. Right. That's what it's all so, about. Yeah. So, uh, if you uh, if you guys want to join us, you know, we just started up fresh. Uh, we're going to have a we're going to have a YouTube set up soon. I don't know if it's popping up now, but it will soon. Uh, hang on real quick. So you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Just find us on uh, on our show on YouTube. The lesson it's just called Lesson Flow Sports Show. That's all it is. Lesson Flow Sports Show. Look it up. Try and find us. There's a link right there. If you can't find us directly, because we're kind of new. Uh, I think we got like zero subscribers. So you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep on working on this though. Big so. goose egg. Yeah. So one but, subscriber is better than nothing. I'll take it. Yeah. So you know, I'm representing. I got the colors on. Got Zeke. I got the Cowboys. Yeah, I know. You don't like them. But I'm going to be objective. That's how I am. It's I'm always going to be objective. red skins in my world. Yeah, I know. Hey, y'all need, you know, need to find a team name first before you start drafting players. You know, they say we're talking about uh, the Washington <laughs> Red Wolves. That's coming up being uh... – Red Bulls? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, Red Wolves. Okay, what do you think about that? The Red Bulls. The Red Wolves. Um – Oh, Red Wolves. Okay, my bad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I want Redskins forever. No matter who they are to me or whoever they said they're going to be, it's going to be Redskins no matter what to me. But um, right. um, if if we live in a world where everybody has to be correct and and everybody has to be – they're so sensitive. So, hey, we got to go to another team name. Go to Red Wolves. I like that. And I keep the color. Keep the colors. Yeah, right. You get to keep your colors. But I will say – if we go to the playoff this year and we shock the world and do something crazy, keep Washington football team. I don't care. It might be good luck to change our uh, name. <laughs> it ain't going to happen, bro. It ain't going to happen. Man. I, I hope so. Kiss this chain. That's what we care about. The Cowboys right here. Yeah, so speaking of the Cowboys, y'all you had an interesting draft. Um, yeah, I called I call the first one. I was like, hey, we need to take Michael Parsons. That was my, that was my thing. We gotta I take my sure he wasn't gonna pick a cornerback. I thought there were two, but he was there. I mean, he was man. He is. He's gonna be a beast. I mean, that guy is. I mean, that guy can. He can move. He can. He can. He can put his. He can put his hand in the ground. He can go after the cornerback. He can play linebacker. I mean, that guy can. I'm glad we got him. I'm so happy we got him. I was saying it before. I even posted on some of the. Dallas Cowboy uh, groups. Hey, we need to take Mike Parsons. If we don't take Michael Parsons, man, especially once Little was gone, once that tight end was gone, what's his name? Is that him? Can't yeah. Remember his name. Yeah. yeah, once they took him, because that was the only thing I was worried about, man. If he drops down, Jerry's going to take take him. He's going to take that tight end. That was my fear. And once he went number four, I think, I was like, yeah, let's go defense. And they've been going all defense pretty much the whole time. You know, we got – uh, mm -hmm. two linebackers, two cornerbacks, two edge players, and then we finally picked up uh, an old lineman uh, in the fourth round, second pick in the fourth round. So we probably I, need some old linemen. So I will say that I believe that y'all y'all defense struggled on, on the on the runs last year. So I believe y'all were like near the Patriots. The Patriots were very horrible with the running defense, and I believe uh -huh. I'm getting thirty first. I'm just thinking off the top of my head what I saw. And right. uh, so for y'all to pick up a linebacker, like Micah Parsons, pretty fast, young, and then Sean Lee just retired. Um, that's that's a great fill in. And yeah, Mike, uh, I'm telling you, Micah Parsons, he's gonna be 
he's gonna be a beast, man. That guy. Though I was a little disappointed with the cornerback they took uh, in round two, number forty-four, Kelvin Joseph. I think they should have gone with Ashante Samuels there from Florida State. That's my Ooh, personal opinion. Man. So is is that a Shant- is that a Santi Samuels son? Yeah, what? I think so. Am I old? <laughs> That's how old you are. <laughs> No, I was like, is that a Sante Sam? I don't know. It- I'm not sure. I, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I don't really know if that's his son, but it's he said they call him Junior, so I don't know. I'm about but to anyway. Look. That's a Sante Sam. Tell- yeah, look it up and see. But it might be. But he's a better corner than me. He's a better cornerback than the than Kelvin. And we could. I, I think we should have took a Sante. But I mean, hopefully Joseph will work out. He's already on the Cowboys. He's on. He's on Cowboy Nation. So I'm gonna just embrace him. But uh, yeah, I think, and I think also, uh, I don't know why we took in the third round. We took Nashawn Wright. He, he doesn't. I don't know. He he can't put his foot in the ground. He's not super fast. He came out of Oregon State, and we they still had Elijah Molden from uh, University of Washington, who that guy is good. He's got he's got speed. He can stay with the receiver. And the Nashawn Wright, I don't know. I don't know much about him, but he's he's a tall, lanky guy. He's like six four for a cornerback. That's pretty tall. I'll take it. And, yeah, but he's – I mean, I don't know if they're just trying to defend at the goal line, you know, the big, tall receivers. Maybe that's what they're looking for. But to me, they should have took Elijah Molden from I'll University of Washington. Yeah, University of Washington, I think Elijah Molden would have been a better pick there because we need to help on the back end. We we let, a, we let a lot of big plays on the back end. So maybe they're taking him for, like, a goal line thing where they got to – you know, they throw that fade. They're trying to take – you know, and, and trying to protect that, maybe put him in there in special packages or something like that. So – Hey, so welcome to the Lesson Flow Sports Show. I'm all Flow. Day all day long, man. Um, and who are you? I'm Mr. Les. Are you Les? So I'm when Les. you say welcome to the show, you're supposed to say Les, and I'm supposed to say Flow. <laughs> Come on now. Um, I'm, I'm <laughs> Les, man. And, and um, so I'm, I'm looking. I just looked it up. Asante Samuel Jr. is Asante Samuel's um, son. And... Um, Oh, it is okay. 1999. I was I was 11 years old, but uh. Whoa! <laughs> so you are that old. So Santi Samuel's just just retired, like probably like probably what seven years ago, if that. Probably like five years ago. I remember yeah. last time he played was on the Falcons. So yeah. to see him have a child going into the NFL. Y'all just made a pick. I'm here watching it draft over here. We made a pick. I think so. They're talking about the Washington uh, football team. So so far, <laughs> we made some some interesting picks. The first pick, I wasn't too much of a fan of with J- uh, Jamin Davis. Uh, no, but, no. Well, because I'm thinking firsthand, we need us a cornerback. Well, first of all, I thought we needed Derek a cornerback. Ford. Y'all took Derek for safety out of Cincinnati. That's that's awesome. Yeah, like, six, we don't have foot, any safeties that two hundred like, pounds, six foot. We'll take them. Yeah. We'll do something with them. We don't have any corners that like stand out. We don't have any corner or safeties that are standing out. Right. Our our back end, our our backfield was just disgustingly horrible. Our secondary right. burnt so bad. But we do have a nice uh, front, of course, defensive line. Uh, that's all we we're good for. But to have uh, James Davis come in there, then we picked up we picked up um, Benjamin St. Justy. Justy. Um, He's a cornerback. I think they say he's a little iffy, but he he can work it out though. He's pretty tall, pretty fast guy. And our biggest one is Diami Brown from North Diami Carolina, Brown. the wide receiver okay. with Terry McCollin. So okay. you know we we we're gonna have a pretty solid um pretty solid wide receiver core. My question is, what about our quarterback? Are we gonna run with? Tyler Taylor Hennekin and or or Heineken or he's from ODU Virginia native or are we going to run with <laughs> Patrick what's his name Ryan Fitz Fitzpatrick Ryan Fitz, Fitz Magic Fitz Magic <laughs> no trash he's so horrible <laughs> man I mean he, he, he's been on every single NFL team there is in the league it seems like and um you know but right. I, I got hope into and faith into Tyler because of what we did in, in with um with Tom Brady. We could have beat Tom Brady. We had the closest right. to it. Um, I don't know, man. I think they're going to ride with Fritz. I, I was surprised they didn't take a, a, a quarterback in the second round or in the third round. Well, we had I mean, a chance to get Kyle um, Trask from, from Florida. Florida. Florida, yeah. Yeah. Why didn't y'all or, take him? Or Kellen Munn. I would, if y'all got Kellen Munn, I would have been mad. 
because I wanted him for, for us as a backup. I think he's going to be like didn't. Patrick Mahomes. I, that's what I was telling everybody. I put I put it on the Facebook page. We need to pick up this guy as a backup to Dak because if Dak goes down again, we got nobody. And we're like, oh, we got Garrett Gilbert. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Yeah, dude. And so, oh. but actually, I put it up there and I said, you might, y'all might think I'm crazy, but we need to take Kellen on because he's going to be, I mean, give him a year or two behind Dak, even if he has to come in for Dak. That guy's going to be good. I mean, I've seen it on, on tape. I mean, he just he just flashes. I mean, he's you know, he's raw. He, he needs some he needs some work, but he just flashes his speed because he was able to run away from them. You know, them uh, mm-hmm. SEC you receive. Uh, you know, uh, defensive players. I mean, the guy he's he's raw, but he's he's gonna be something. He's gonna Wait, be something. That Prescott came from Texas A M, right? No, no, he came from Mississippi State, but Mississippi State same colors, same colors. Yeah, still SEC, but yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we got some uh, fun NFL facts for anybody who comes in later because I don't think we got anybody watching live, but they might watch it on the recording. So yeah. I got a few uh, NFL fun facts, draft facts. I think these are draft facts. Okay, yeah. In the first 69 drafts, how many Hall of Famers were selected number one? In the first, the first 69, 69 right? drafts. There's, we had, I think we've had 69 drafts. I think that's total. How many Hall of Famers were selected number one? So I'll kind of leave that out there. You can think about it. We'll let the audience kind of flat, flash that over, and maybe they can come in and in the chat and just say, you know, maybe give their guess. Do you have a guess? I, I'm going I'm to say 14. 14? Okay. Is that, okay. Is, it, it's a higher number, isn't it? I'm not going to tell you. I'm, I'm just leaving it out there right now. Do you want me to say it right now? No. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll tell you right now. That's Go a, I got plenty of questions. You had 15. That was a good guess. That's oh, wow. Because I know there's a lot of us out there. That's, that's been no, fun. no, no. I mean, it's, it's probably less than people think. 15 is not that many. Yeah, it's not you know at I mean? all. There's a lot of yeah. us. Like Marcus Russell, we can keep going on. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so uh, since we're talking about NFL draft, uh, what do we think? Because I think at the top of the draft we have uh, – yeah, they went one, two, three quarterbacks. Which one of those three quarterbacks do you think is going to be the best in the NFL? Who's going to who's going to be the best once it's said and done? Once they start playing, put the ball up in the air and just who? Um, maybe, maybe it might be a year from now, it might be two years from now. But coming out of that top three, I mean, we can all just say Trevor Lawrence, but you never know. You only have fifteen Hall of Famers in the I'm first six draft. I'm going to pick Trevor Lawrence think? based off based off talent that he has around him and um this draft already they're picking up some receivers they picked up his former running back uh threat was travis uh entian um pretty good running back i mean they do have a solid running back already with james robinson there if i'm mistaken uh so i i think trevor lawrence the jet situation with kyle wilson is you know it's the jets so the jets gonna be what (laughs) And the 49ers situation, that's going to be sticky. That's sticky. Be sticky. Because where does Jimmy G, Jimmy G go? And what if Jimmy G produces? Then I, I think, I, I think, I think I, I, honestly, I think you have a little bit of a Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers thing where Aaron Rodgers kind of sat for a couple of years uh, really? behind, behind Brett yeah. Favre. Because Trey Lance, you know, he's he didn't even play last year. He played, he played one game. Yeah. So he's not really ready to come in. So you look at Jimmy G, and I, I mean, if he gets hurt again, they're gonna have to probably pull him in there. But I think they're they're hoping, hey, Jimmy G, we're gonna go roll with him. We went to the Super Bowl with him once, and let Trey Lance sit there and learn, and come in maybe the second year. Was it a Super Bowl because of Jimmy? Their defense was extraordinary that year. He played well. He played well though. He played, he played. decent. Yeah, he, he played well. He he wasn't no Aaron Rodgers. I mean, no, he out. wasn't, but but he made some good plays. He made key plays here and there, not in the mm-hmm. Super Bowl necessarily, but you know throughout the playoffs and even in even in the regular season, he he made a few plays, a key plays, you know, key first downs, third and third and longs that he made. So he played well. I mean, he wasn't you know he wasn't the top five quarterback, maybe top ten, maybe, but he did all right. I, th- I think, but there, I don't know if it was Kyle Hand and Shanahan just trying to keep the ball out of his hands. Uh, yeah, but they ran the, they ran the ball a lot, so maybe they didn't trust him. I don't know. We'll see this year. They didn't say anything. 
if he can stay healthy, we'll really get to see Jimmy G and see what he can do. I think they might open it up a little bit because uh, I don't think they can rely on the running game to take them all the way again because their no. defense is not, is not as good as it used to be. Uh, that year it was really, really good. And so they could rely on the run game, kind of burn the clock a little bit and just, you know, just keep people at a low score and, and win the game at the end or something. Or, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You're going to go with Trevor Lawrence. Huh? It's going to be the very same situation in Minnesota. Watch when Kirk Cousins go out there and does what Kirk Cousins does, as as I didn't like him on the Redskins anyway. And Kellen Munn's going to come I can't believe y'all let him go. No, I believe we let him go. I'm, I'm happy we did. He wanted too much money. So all he does is collect and check, take money from the Vikings, of course. And um, so when Kellen Munn is going to come in here and he's going to fight the world. Just give me my money. Play. Yeah. Give me my – how you like me now? Right. You, say? you like that? You like, you like that? that? So 90, he get $96 million. $96 million. Well, he, so, he, he, he kind of he kind of messed up the market. For everybody else, like Kirk Cousins got 96 million, you know. I'm like, right, and Kirk Cousins not even an elite quarterback. I don't care what you say, he's he's cool, he, he's he's top 12. I'm gonna give him top 12. I'll give him 15. Okay, I'll take I'll that. Him 15. Okay. And, and he's making great money. Um, I'll take him over Cam Newton sometimes, and then sometimes I'll take Cam Newton over him. Okay. That's just my two cents with, with Kirk Cousins. But Keller Munn comes in there. It's going to be the same situation with San Francisco. Trey Lance is going to come in there and shut the game down. I, I already see it coming. I see it coming. I did like the fact – I was mad at the fact that the Patriots came in there and took Mac, Mac Jones from us because I was so certain if the Patriots didn't pick up a quarterback that the Washington football team was going to go ahead and pick up Mac Jones. Um and that, that would have made my, my day, man, but whatever. <laughs> that would have made my day. You like Mac Jones? I like – I just want new talent. I like Mac Jones, but I'm not a big fan of Alabama quarterbacks, to be honest with you. Well, Same I mean, thing with Ohio State. He's probably one of the better Alabama quarterbacks that's been in there for a while, though. Mm. I mean – I mean – Except for Tua maybe Tua. Probably, Except for Tua. Tua but, and Jalen Hurts actually were like. Jalen Hurts. I didn't really care for Jalen Hurts. He wasn't that great. He was I mobile. Tua, honestly. He wasn't, he, wasn't mo he was mobile a little bit, but he didn't really run. He wasn't really like a speedy Lamar Jackson running quarterback, but he didn't really pass. So he was not He was kind of a little, a little bit of everything, but not, no expert in anything. He was never really good at one thing, you know. You're either really good at running or really good at throwing. He just wasn't. He was just kind of like he was pretty good at kind of everything. So yeah. I don't know. I, I like Tua better. Tua had a better arm to me. He had a, a more accurate arm. He had a stronger arm. Uh, I mean, he, he he was he was a better quarterback. So I, I would put him in the category. Situation. A different kind of player, but I would put him in the category with Mac Jones. Tua and Mac Jones are, you know, virtually they're on the same level as far well, you as uh, Jalen Hurts here too. Then. You gotta put huh? Jalen Hurts in. You gotta put Jalen Hurts in that in the argument. Then I don't know, Jalen Hurts. I don't know. Just something about him. Just I don't know. I, and he didn't pop off the, the screen to me, man. He just he was an athletic guy. Know. He almost he almost felt like a he almost felt like a wide receiver playing quarterback. I, mean, I don't know. He just he just didn't seem nah, like you think like he's Tim Tebow or somebody. No, I'm just saying he. I mean, because he wasn't a great thrower. He didn't. He didn't. I mean, he didn't throw it that great. He got a great arm. I, uh, I mean, he, but he didn't. I mean, he wasn't accurate downfield. He wasn't super accurate downfield, and that's. I mean, if you got a big arm, you got to have that. And then he he can't make all the intermediate throws. Mm -hmm. And then he can run a little, but he can't run like, you know, Lamar Jackson or, he's not ex an instinctive runner like Mahomes because Mahomes isn't really fast, but he's instinctive. He's mm -hmm. he's kind of he almost has a running back quality to him. When he takes off, he he knows when to run, which direction. You know, he only runs when he has to. And I don't know. It just – I don't know. Just something about Jalen Hurts didn't pop up, pop to me. It just, it just didn't seem like – I don't know. I, I think what it what, what it really uh, attracts the – how elite the quarterback is, Jalen Hurts is a very big professional. And for you – for a coach to say, hey, look, 
we're not going to go. We're going to go ahead and go with Tua. And he said, OK. And he came back the next no. year and played on a level of elite performance with Oklahoma. Stay hey, man. He's a good guy, man. He's a good – he's a team player. I mean, as a, as a person and as a, a, a teammate, he's good. But as a quarterback starting the NFL, I don't know. Well, he took Carson Wentz's job. So. Yeah. Carson was <laughs> struggling. He took Carson, Carson He burned his bridges over there. I don't know. You think he's going to – what he's going to do in the Colts? You don't think he's going to be any good? Oh, no. He's going to be He's going to be extraordinary. That's what I'm saying. He's going to be great. I don't know. I think he burned bridges. It's tough to play in Philadelphia, man. And I, oh, I don't yeah. think I don't think he was the right guy there. Because to me, I, I heard a lot about you know he had a, a Christian background. You know, he's kind of a humble guy. He's not really, you know, super crazy. You know, he's, I think he was having Bible studies with Nick Foles or something. I don't know. It was. I mean, he was. He doesn't seem the kind of guy that can go into Philadelphia, a place like Philadelphia, and really be comfortable uh, with that environment. So maybe that that could be part of it. I think he'll be more comfortable in Indianapolis. Or uh, is it Indianapolis Colts? Yep, Indianapolis right. Colts. Um, okay. I think that they changed the name so many, I can't Nick forget. Foles. Sometimes <laughs> they should cut Nick Foles, man. But anyhow, that's besides the point. Nick Foles yeah. carried the Eagles to the Super Bowl and won it. That's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Hey, so, so I got another another uh, NFL fun fact. Um, let's do this one. This one will be fun. We try and do it throughout the rest of some of the time. See, so I got uh six number one picks have quarterback their teams to Super Bowl title. Number one like pick first quarter- year? quarterbacks throughout the draft. There's been six quarterbacks that actually went to the Super Bowl and won that were one number one drafts. So there's six of them. And wait, no wait, six? There's eight of them. I think there's eight. I think there's eight. The first uh, year? No, 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 not their first year. During their oh, career. Okay. During their career at some point. Um, I can so, think of some already off the top of my head. Okay. Let's see. If you're wrong, then you can't keep going. If, if you're right, I'll let you go again. All right. First one be Peyton Manning. Okay. Tom Brady. Nope. He wasn't a number one. Draft number one. Excuse me. Man, now you can't even guess anymore for hold that. On, hold on, hold on, hold no, on, hold on. You're done. You're done. Hold on, let me keep going. Tom Brady. I mean, uh, Peyton Manning. Oh, you still said Tom Brady. Peyton Manning. Okay. And I'm going to go with Terry Bradshaw. Uh, Yeah, okay. Got gotcha. you. Um, let me think about some of my, my lifetime here. He, no, he wasn't. No, no. Let me think about it. I'm going to give you one more, and then I'm going to quit. Hold give on. Me, give me one more. One more um, get. Uh, the GOAT behind Tom Brady. Um, Mahomes? Joe Montana. <laughs> Joe Montana? Nope. Joe Not Namath. Number one. Huh? I quit. Joe Namath. What? Yep. You got that one right. All right. So, Joe Montana wasn't drafted number one? No. I'm old. I don't Steve know where you're Steve Young. Uh, all right, we got another one, okay. Or Aitman. Oh, look at you. And okay. That's all I got. That's all you got? You almost yeah. got all of them. You said eight of them, though. Yeah, you got three left. Three left. Oh, you know, man. You want to just finish it off? Johnny Unitas. No. Go ahead. Well, you forgot John Elway, for one. John Elway. Man, he took him forever. <laughs> Brett Favre. No, he got drafted by the Falcons. <laughs> nice. Jim Plunkett. Ooh. The Raiders. Wow. And the last one, I'm surprised you didn't get it since you got his brother, Eli Manning. Eli Manning got drafted by – He was number San one, Diego though. first, and then he traded. But he was number one, though. He still was number one draft. But you said he got drafted number one – but well, he got traded, though. Yeah. They were drafted number one. That's the question. And took their team and quarterback their, their team, whatever team they were with. The uh, I guess then, because I would have said Drew Brees then, but he did get traded. <laughs> he, he did play with the Chargers first, and then he got traded. All right. I got one more, and then uh, we'll hear it in a minute. You got anything else you want to talk about? The draft? 
specifically or your team, see how they're doing? After this, I want to let's. I want to talk about the Lakers last night when LeBron made his return, and um, okay, and then okay. Uh, Jason Tatum had an extraordinary night. But go ahead, one more question. Okay, here. one more question. Uh, we'll leave it out there, or we can just answer it. Um, one more fun fact: one quarterback that was never drafted. What was the one quarterback that was never drafted to win the Super Bowl? Never Not drafted. All seven rounds, never got drafted. Doug Williams. Nope. Why you always go Redskins? Huh? Why you always go Redskins? Because we're the greatest team out there. Um, oh, oh, man. Not, a, not as good as America's team. To go undrafted? is he got to be an old quarterback. Um, What well, depends how old you're thinking. Like, was it my li our lifetime? Yeah, it was our lifetime. Mine, at least. Yours still, still probably yours. I mean, Asante Samuels has a son, so you're not – don't act like you're that young. <laughs> um, let, me, <laughs> let me think about it. I'm thinking about all the Super Bowls that I've witnessed in my lifetime, and I'm trying to think. Um, I, I'm either going to run with um, Trent Dilfer. Nope. I don't know. You tell me then, man. You ready? <laughs> Yeah. 1994, Kurt Warner. Wow. Remember, he went to the the CFL or something. He went to some other league, and then he came back to the NFL. He never got wow. drafted. He didn't even get signed as a free agent. So He won two with the Rams, correct? Or he went to two. He only won one with the Rams. Oh, and then he lost. Lost. Yeah, and then he went with the Cardinals, and they lost that game. Kurt Warner. Wow. That's a good one. That's why it's a fun fact. Wow. Okay. All right. So we're going to go in, into NBA. This is the Lesson Flow Sports Show. You can catch us on YouTube. Just sports without the politics. We're just trying to have fun, talk about sports. If any of you guys want to leave comments later on, please do leave comments, share, and like. Go subscribe on YouTube. Uh, we got a goose egg for subscribers. But we just started. This is our first show. We're going to get it going. Hey, a fun fact that my son told me about uh, a podcast and, you know, these kind of things like this. Because, he, he, you know, he's doing his own uh, podcast that he's doing on YouTube. But he was researching it, and he said that whenever a podcast or, you know, a video cast, you know, whenever you start one of these, if you can get to your seventh show, then it's going to last. And it's, it's going to have uh, legs. It's going to have. It's going to be more somewhat successful. Or the more, the ones that are successful, they go, they get to seven podcasts. So if we can do this seven weeks in a row. Maybe we got something. We can. That'd be easy. Okay. So yeah, yeah we, we're, that's we're, one of the things that he looked up and he said, yeah, if you once you get to your seventh podcast, you're an actual show. You 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 kind of arrived as a podcast as a show. I can dig so, that. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me let me throw out an NBA facts since we're going to go to LeBron and talk some. Some uh, uh, Lakers or whatever. I don't know. Is it Lakers? Okay. Yeah. That, that's your team, right? Okay. That's who he plays with, right? I forget. He played with so many teams. I can't remember. He do. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one you may not get. What player? We can leave it out there. You don't have to answer right now. Or we can let somebody in there later on. Maybe they can guess. What player holds a record for the most NBA Finals appearances without a ring? Without a chip? Most NBA Finals appearances without a chip. Bam. We'll leave it out there. Here. I'll even give you how many he's gone to. No, I mean, that'll give it away. No, that'll give it away. That'll give it away, I think. Charles Barkley. Nope. i tell you <laughs> I'll leave it out there for people to guess it. I would think about it now. <laughs> what do you, say something about LeBron and come back to it. Well, I'm just getting on the fact that LeBron last night, you know, all the – LeBron haters out there that that love to see him fall. Ooh. Uh, LeBron came back from a 20-game absence when he had a high ankle sprain. And uh he came out there to gave his best. He had 16 points. And uh um, played Friday. He played he did play Friday. He played the Kings. And um, although it was and a they lost. They did. They did. But at the same they time, lost. chemistry is everything. Oh, come on, man. Chemistry is everything. You haven't been playing any contact with anybody, you've been playing individual. But he's LeBron. 
he's LeBron, and but hey, Jordan had bad games too. So they like, let's ah. let's recognize the facts. Jordan's came back when he retired. His first game was horrible. The, this is the longest break. But he, he was off a year and a half. He was playing baseball. Come exactly. On. LeBron Come on. and Jordan, same thing. Um, Not the same thing. He came back. He reconstructed his body to play baseball, and he came back to play basketball professionally. You'll never lose basketball skills Come when, on. You, when you're going. Yeah, but but if you you're doing you're using different muscles, you're not using the same the same high twitch muscles that you use with basketball. You've been playing basketball ever since you was a kid. Muscle memory will always be there. So LeBron had to be there, but a year and a half compared LeBron to what? Tomorrow. What was he out like three days or a couple weeks? He was out 20, 20 days. Oh, 20 days. Sorry. LeBron has never been out of the games like that at all. This is the longest that he ever been. And he said he'll never be 100% the same as he will, which makes sense. Um, but LeBron's still a uh, player to be reckoned with. So, And then Jason Tatum last night scored 60 points with the Celtics. Uh, that was the – he tied with the, the franchise record with Larry Bird, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I was kind of surprised by that. I thought What's that Larry the Bird was like – would have – did that many times. Would it? Eyes closed because Larry Bird was the goat, in my opinion, back in them days. Yeah, he uh, was good. I just, but he was more of a team guy. You know, he scored when he had to. He's kind of like Magic. Magic Johnson. He didn't really score a lot of points because he he wanted to, you know, help the team score. He would score points when he needed to. But if Magic Johnson was getting thirty some points, the Lakers were probably losing. You know, what <laughs> I mean? that's how it was, man, back then. If Magic yeah. Johnson had over thirty points, they were losing. Magic was like wow. a guy. He, he didn't mind getting his twenty something. But he wanted like 10 assists, you know, 10, yeah, 11 assists, yeah. and and then, you know, at least nine. And then, you know, give him, you know, four or five rebounds or something like that, you know, maybe a steal there here and there. But Maddie Johnson, that's how he was. I, I think Larry was a lot like that. Larry kind of scored when he needed to. You know, mm. he, had a, he had a nice team around him. He wasn't as, as big of a assist guy, but, you know, he scored when he needed to. He drew the attention of the defense and kicked it out to somebody else, you know. So he wasn't a big, big, big scorer like, you know, who would think Jordan is or something like that. Or maybe uh, AI, people. or like AI, you know, he's a scorer machine. He had to do that. He he had Eric Snow on his team. So AI. <laughs> Eric Snow was all right. Stop. Eric, he was all right. He was all right. No, not at all. <laughs> not even close. No, he I was so good. bad for 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 so, AI. But uh, so what's up? What's up with the? Uh, what's up with your guy Davis? Uh, AD man, he ain't he's struggling. He ain't been doing too good the no. whole season. He's, he, even before LeBron, he got hurt. Yeah, chemistry is everything. AD was out for a few months, so yeah. But even before had, that, he was struggling. He wasn't playing. No, good. he wasn't. He was doing great, actually. No, he wasn't. He he was doing great. He's not that bad of a player. He wasn't. He wasn't doing uh, like he was a year the previous year. Look, Flo. At the end of the day, Brooklyn <laughs> Nets versus the Lakers, and Lakers in four. I had no questions asked. What Lakers, Lakers, in, Lakers in four? In four. Are Lakers. you kidding me? Sweet, sweet. Okay, all right. Hey, book it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind you of that one. And if I'm Lakers that, don't, baby. guess what's gonna happen next year? Steph Curry gonna come to the Lakers. I don't know, man. That's my prediction. The Suns they, look really good too. They're gonna have to get past the Clippers or the Jazz or the Suns. The Lakers, if, the Suns are playing good. I the say Jazz are playing good. If Devin Booker and Chris Paul are playing their best basketball, in my opinion, Lakers in four. Nobody's going to mess with the Lakers, man. I don't care how good they are. Okay? What? I don't care. Chris Paul chokes they're gonna, as they're usual. Gonna sweep, they're going to sweep their way all the way to the finals? Uh, I think they're going to sweep at least one team on their way to the finals. Okay. When has LeBron ever swept anybody? Okay. Did he not sweep somebody last year? Huh? And the bubble? They, I don't even count last year. I don't count last year. Last year's the asterisk. That that no, count. That counts. That counts. Cause if it was your team, whoever team you like, you'd be you'd be like, oh, that counts. Nah, I say it's got an asterisk. Who is your team? You like the Mavericks? <laughs> <laughs> you like the Mavericks? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a Spurs fan. So oh, that's right. Yeah. So if they won last year in the bubble, you would have counted too. I, I, I was at an asterisk, though. There's an asterisk on that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the Super Bowl will be the same thing. It doesn't matter. 
So All right. Uh, you want to answer this question? What the NBA? Guess? The guest. NBA Finals appearances without a ring. You want me to give you how many he had? How many appearances he had? Yeah. Yeah, please. That's like a hint. Okay. Yeah. Eight finals appearances. With no rain? Goose egg. Kind of like our subscribers on YouTube. Goose egg. I'm guessing he's a he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm going to say he is. I, I don't really know. First, I didn't look that up. I'm going to say he probably is. Was it our lifetime? <laughs> Man, you want me to tell me just give you the answer? It was probably in my lifetime, but maybe when I was little, very little. When you was little, um, <laughs> no, I can't think about it, man. You'll know. You'll say, "Oh, when I try to tell you." Oh wait, Clyde Drexler. Drexler. No. You ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. So the the player that holds the record for the most NBA Finals appearances without a ring, he went a total of eight times, zero rings. Elgin Baylor. Man. Elgin hey, Baylor. Oh. That's it. Man, rest in peace <laughs> to the great Elgin Baylor. Yeah. I'm a crazy, Lakers fan. I didn't know that. I could sworn that he had at least one ring or two. All right. One more question. We're gonna, I'm going to throw it out there, and then we'll go. What else What else you got? You got another topic for the NBA Finals? You got another sport or something? Topic? That is all I got. I've been paying attention to is basketball and, and football these last couple of days. That's all I have. Okay. Well, let me throw this out there. You can, either, you can either answer it right away or we'll think about it. The only player to win multiple uh, – and this is NBA facts. The only player to win multiple chips with three different teams. LeBron James. Three different teams. LeBron well, James. Multiple chips. Oh, multiple chips. With three different teams. Think about it. Think about the question. He hasn't won two yet. Multiple rings. Yeah, three. if LeBron was this year, then well, there'll, be, there'll be two players. But you said you three different it? teams. Three different teams, multiples. Another was more than one championship. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, but it's more than one championship with three separate teams. Da, na, 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 da, na, na, da, na, na, da, 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 da. I can't think of a player that went to three different teams <laughs> and, got three different, and a few rings. Just think, yeah, just think about it. You'll, it'll come to you. It'll come to you. So here we are. What? When y'all got y'all got another pick in the draft? We should be. I was just looking that up in a second ago. We should have another pick. Coming up on uh, end of the middle of the fifth round. I don't see I don't see the skins on here. But you got a seventh round pick or something? We had a sixth round, if I'm not mistaken. No. We're in the middle of no, you don't you don't got no sixth round picks. I think you traded them away. I don't see one. We picked up a tight end. Was that our fifth round pick? Must have been, because there's no sixth round for you guys. Wow. Y'all got, I think, two in the seventh or something. I'm trying to think about who's this guy. <laughs> trying to think all oh, this other guy. <laughs> yeah. So you ready for football? I'm wrong. Are you ready for football, man? Man, I've, I've been ready for football. That's the only thing that really matters, honestly. <laughs> football, out of sports to me. I mean, I'm down the street from, of course, Washington football team. So, okay. you know. I got to see my boys play in person, and then the okay. Wizards are here, but they're trash. And um, but I, I'm a big Westbrook fan, very big Westbrook fan. Westbrook so you, fan. so as long as we're talking a little NBA, let's have one more question out there, because uh, it's a, it's one that everybody's been debating. Um, do you think that the Nets need to have all three guys playing together before the playoffs at some point? Do do we need to have that? Is there going to be a chemistry issue? In other words, if they don't, yeah, yeah absolutely. So Absolutely. if there is a chemistry, if there is a chemistry issue, do you think that's going to affect them? Like they may not make it; they may get upset somewhere. 
Uh, thinking about the facts of the, you know, they're great players, but James Harden is James Harden. So uh, James Harden doesn't get his way and he, you know, he chokes in the playoffs. So um, Kyrie Irving, I think he plays his position no matter what, who's on the team. And uh, KD is going to give you what he's going to give you. So it's all going to depend on how, how does James Harden play with KD, which he had before. But you see, that didn't work out in 2012 when they played the Heat. Right. So, yeah, it that, can work, but um, – Yeah, because chances I – mean, I don't see them getting upset in the first round. I mean, because they're going to play either the Heat, the Hornets, the Pacers, or the Wizards. And that's not – I mean, they shouldn't have no problem with them. This, the next round, the what? second round, I, I think – huh? It might be it might be a problem if they go out there and play with um and they they play the Bucks or somebody or what well they're not gonna be the first round, but um do they play who? If they play the Bucks. Yeah, but, they shouldn't uh, play the Bucks in the first round because the Bucks are number three. You're not gonna right. it's gonna be so one one versus eight. eight. It'll be one versus eight and two so, two versus six. But so that's the team that's gonna be a problem. Seventy sixers. And Miami Heat, in my opinion, give them problems. Okay, well, they might play the Heat. So, hey, so, you, so are you saying there's a potential upset upset alert for the Nets? I say the Heat or Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets give them a problem. Really? Why yeah, so? Lame, Lamella Ball's coming back. If and if he goes in and play, oh man, it's gonna be a problem. Really? They don't have a bad team. Okay, I kind of see the Bucks and the Sixers playing playing the Nets. One of those two teams. I see the top three is gonna they're gonna be playing each other at some point in the finals. Yeah, I, I really don't see any of those other teams making a making a move, making a run. <clears throat> Even though like the Heat made a run last year, like I said, yeah. it was an asterisk last season. So this is a full yeah. season, just about. You know, minus the, the preseason. I mean, it was a short, still a short season, but I mean, I don't know. I don't see none of them people, none of them making a run. So I think the Nets are going to come out. Either the Nets or the 76ers will come out of the East. And I, I feel like, man, I feel like the Suns might surprise some people. Mm, no, the Suns and the Clippers. Suns, Clippers, or Lakers? One of those three teams is to come out of the West. Lakers. Suns. Well, I, don't, I know you want the Lakers, but you know that don't yeah. mean it's going to happen. <laughs> hey, but hey, I think we'll we'll, we'll see. The playoff starts on the twenty second. They're going to have to play in it in May eighteenth. So uh, it's going to be interesting, man. But we'll, I'm sure next time we talk about it, we'll we'll see. I have a better picture. We'll see. Who's going to be going where? Yeah, we'll talk about it next Saturday. How about that? Absolutely. Please, next everybody, Saturday. listen to us. Come on. Next subscribe. Saturday, Let Them Flow Sports Show. Find subscribe. us on YouTube. You can even just like us here on Facebook, whatever you want. Just find us. It's just sports, no politics. We just want to have fun, talk some sports. So hopefully we'll get some subscribers soon. You want to answer that question? Before we go. I, I, I've already figured out who it was. Oh, you did? And see the two choices that I have. <laughs> it's either Robert Ori or John Sally. Okay. Am I close? So, I mean, what do you, you want to go with one of them or somebody else? Just pick one. And I'm okay. going to give you the answer. Uh, let's go with John Sally. John Sally. Okay. So the answer is Robert Ori. You're lying. Stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two rock, two with the Rockets, three with the Lakers, and two with the Spurs. He's got seven. He's actually got more rings than, than MJ. Oh, because John only got three. <laughs> Wait, I don't, think, got, I don't think he, I don't think he won with the Bulls. He got two with, yeah, he, he got won one with the Bulls. Oh he yeah, got he won two with, with Pistons, and he got one with the Lakers. I'm wrong. Yeah, so it's not multiple for him. <laughs> so it is Robert Ory, man. <laughs> You almost had it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, all right. Happened. All right. Thanks for anybody who's listening and who joined in with us. Uh, this is a Lesson Flow Sports Show. Just having some fun with some sports. Uh, if you want, please share this on Facebook. Uh, other people can see it. Please look us up on Facebook, the Lesson Flow Sports Show, and on, or not on Facebook, but on YouTube. Uh, 
and subscribe there because that's where we're trying to get some audiences, some audience members over there as well. So this is a lesson, lesson flow sports show. Just having some fun with sports. We're trying to do this for a few years. Me and my bro Les, even though that's he's a Redskins fan, I still throw up some love, the peace sign to my bro Les. I hate the Redskins or the football team called the Washington Football Team, but it's all right. We still, it's all fun. A little trash talk. Maybe, maybe y'all. Maybe, Hey, maybe y'all. Maybe hey, maybe this year y'all come in fourth place in the East. Maybe that's what happened. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe Dak Prescott break his leg again. Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> maybe much right. love to you, brother. We'll talk next Saturday. All right, talk next time. Let's flow sports show. See you next time. All right.